Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Nuta, the Crochet World. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment my videos. And today we are going to do this lovely and beautiful pattern for a coaster. Now, I've made this uh, with my 100% cotton yarn. And I've used my 3mm of the hook for this one. This one, I have used my 4mm of the hook. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, but again, this one is with the 100% cotton yarn. And this one I've made with my 100% acrylic yarn where I have used my 5mm of the hook. So here are um, the coaster pattern. So today we are going to use 3.5mm of the hook. 3.5mm. And, and let's begin. Now for this particular pattern, we are going to use four different colors. And you can choose any four different colors you like. So just choose your four different colors here. Now, for two colors, we are going to make a shape like this. And with two other colors, we are going to make a shape like this, a rectangular shape like this. So here I have made one one and I'm going to make another one and one. So now let's begin. As I said, I'm going to use, I've been using this 100% cotton yarn here. So choose your yarn as per your preference. And I'm going to use my 3.5 mm of the hook. So as I have made this two, I'm going to begin doing my, <coughs> this shape first. So let's do this shape. Now for this shape, I'm going to use my yarn. We'll make a slip knot here. So just make a slip knot. And now chain up 40 here four zero 40 so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and keep on doing 40 chains so i'm going to meet you after my 40 chains four zero 40 chains okay so my 40 chains looks like this now we are gonna turn our work so just turn your work like this and you're gonna have a back portion of your chains here so here as you can see this is the uh, first chain this is the back portion of your first chain and we are gonna make a double crochet here so we have to leave uh, three chains here so this chain three will count as your first double crochet so one two and three I'm going to leave this three chains and I'm going to yarn over and will insert my hook into this fourth uh, chain, the back portion of my fourth chain and will grab the yarn and I'm going to have my three loops. So yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops. Now yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops. So first three chain will count as your first double crochet and then on the fourth chain, you're going to make your second double crochet and keep on doing uh, double crochet um, and we are going to do six double crochets here so as we have already done two this is our three four five and our last sixth double <coughs> crochet I'm sorry about my voice now as we have our six double crochets here now into this next chain this next chain the back portion of the next chain we are gonna do four double crochets together into this chain so just yarn over and insert your hook into that uh, chain grab your yarn and do your first double crochet and then again into the same chain insert your hook and do your second double crochet now yarn over and into that same chain do your third double crochet and now yarn over and insert your hook into that same chain and do your fourth double crochet so first six double crochet into each chain then four double crochet into that same chain now into the next chain this is my next chain and I'm going to do another four double crochet into that next chain. So just yarn over and do another four double crochets into the next chain. So it's one, two, 
three and four like this so my work gonna look like this now we have made this portion here sorry as we have made this portion here now we are gonna do this portion so for this one we are gonna do 17 double crochet into the each chain for next 17 chain so let's do one double crochet into each chain for next 17 chains so it's into this next chain my first double crochet then into the next chain my another double crochet and i'm gonna do 17 double crochets here so i'm gonna meet you after that okay so after my 17 double crochets my work looks like this now after the 17 double crochets into the next chain we are gonna do four double crochets together so just yarn over and insert your hook into that chain the next chain and do your four double crochets together so it's one two three and four now into the next chain again we are gonna do our four double crochets together so just yarn over and insert your hook into that next chain and do your four double crochets together so it's one two three and four like this now here we are going to do our last 11 double crochets into each chain so now just yarn over and insert your hook into your next chain and do one double crochet into the next chain one double crochet and keep on doing your one double crochet into each chain and you're going to end up having your 11 double crochets and i'm going to meet you at the end okay so after my 11 double crochets my work looks like this and my oval shape is ready so remember we have started doing our six double crochets here then four double crochets into one chain and then again a four double crochets into another chain and then again we have done our 17 double crochets into each chain for the next 17 chains then again we have done four double crochets into one chain and then four double crochets into the next chain and then at the end we have done our 11 double crochets on each chain for next 11 chains and that's it our old shape is ready and now you can cut your yarn and always secure your last stitch like this and here it is you're gonna need these two oval shapes so i've already done one and this another one so my two oval shapes are ready now we are gonna do this rectangular shape and we're gonna need two of this rectangular shape so one rectangular shape is already ready and i'm gonna do my another rectangular shape and for that one i'm gonna use my white yarn and i'm using the same uh, hook three and a half mm of the hook so here again have a slip knot and now we are gonna chain up 42 here remember for our this oval shape we have we have chained up 40 now for this our rectangular shape we are gonna chain up 42 so chain up 42 4 2 1 2 3 4 five six seven eight nine <coughs> and my last chain chain 42 so this is my 42 chains now again we're gonna turn our work we're gonna turn our chains like this and we're gonna do double crochets here so for that one we're gonna leave our first three chains so this is the back portion of my first three chains so one two and three and i'm not gonna work on this this three chains will count as my first double crochet so yarn over and one two and three leave these three chains and insert your hook into this fourth chain 
grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and that's your two double crochet and we're gonna do another four double crochets so all together we're gonna do six double crochets so just keep on doing your six double crochets here so it's it's four five and six like this six double crochets and now into the next chain we are going to do our four double crochet into that same chain so just do one two three and four like this now into the next chain we are going to do one double crochet into each chain for next six chains so just keep on doing one double crochet into each chain next six chains that's two three and six i have done my six double crochets here so six double crochets then four double crochets into one chain and then again six double crochets here now into the next chain we are going to do four double crochets into that same chain so just yarn over and insert your hook and do four double crochets into that same chain so it's one two three and four like this now into the next 12 chains we are going to do one double crochet into each chain so just yarn over and keep on doing your one double crochet into each chain for next 12 12 chain one two three and keep on doing for your 12 double crochets and i'm going to meet you after that okay so i've done my 12 double crochets here now into this next chain we are going to do four double crochets into that same chain so it's just insert your hook into the next chain into four double crochets here so it's one two three and four now for next six chains we are going to do one double crochet into each chain so just do your one double crochet into each chain for next six chains one and this is my last double crochet my sixth double crochet like this now next chain we are going to do four double crochet into this um chain so just yarn over and do your four double crochets here one two three and four so that's my four double crochets now then into this last six chains we are going to do one double crochet into each chain so this is our last part and just do your one double crochet into each chain and you're going to end up having your six double crochets here one and this is my last sixth double crochet like this cut your yarn and secure your last chain last stitch and your rectangular shape is ready like this 
Okay, so here it is. Our two oval shapes and our two rectangular shapes are ready. And always uh, have your needle ready. Now we're going to need your needle because we're going to tie this all together. And we're going to make it into a seller's note um, shape. So for that one, we're going to keep this two portion aside. So our two rectangular shapes we're going to put aside. And we're going to use first these two oval shapes. Now for this one, you have to attach this first part. Now for that one, just have your needle inside. And turn your look. And just insert your hook into, just insert your needle into like this and attach these two parts okay so after joining it looks like this and take another oval shape and Just keep it this way. Like this. So this portion will go below this first oval shape and above this first oval shape like this. The, your second color. And here, let's go below your first color and above your first color like this so it will be like this now turn it and join this two here so have your needle and join this two and i'm going to meet you after that here it is it looks like this and i've tied up my work at the back now we are going to take our third color and the third color will go like this and for this one just put it this way this way like this so if you come from here it will be there our third color will be below our first color and above our first color here it will be above our first our second color but below our second color now here it will be below our first color and above our first color and here it will be above our second color and below our second color like this and you will have to attach these two parts so just attach this two part and i'm going to meet you after that for our fourth and the last color okay so after my three colors it looks like this and we are now gonna put our fourth and the last color and the color will go like this <clears throat> so here
and here it is so this is our first color this is our first color this is our second color this is our third color and that's our fourth color so for fourth color so for fourth color it is going below the third color and on the top from the second first color below the um first color on top of third color here again it is the second color so it is going below the second color and above the second color here again it is going below the third color but above the first color again it is below the first color and here i'm gonna tie my work at the back again here it is above the third color but below the second color and it is like this it's like this and i'm gonna join my work at the back and we'll meet you after that and here it is it is all done it looks like this and it looks like this from the back like this and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have liked please like share comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye